Here's our main dialogue. 아, 우리는 지금 회의 준비가 안돼 있어요. We're not prepared for the meeting right now. 괜찮아요. 우선 일의 진행 상황을 보고 대처하도록 하죠. Hmm, that's okay. But what do we say after that in English? 회의 준비가 되면 말씀드릴게요. I'll let you know when we're ready for the meeting. All right, let's find out that whole sentence in English. Okay, so here is our main dialogue for today. Again, we're not prepared for the meeting right now. So, of course, we're not ready, we're not prepared. 준비가 안돼 있는 거죠. Right. 회의 준비할 준비가 안돼 있어요. Because 뭐 정보 아니면은 뭐 정보가 없던가 아니면은 뭐 디자인이 완성이 되지 않던가, right? Whatever the reason, you're not ready for the meeting. 자, 우리는 지금 회의 준비가 안돼 있어요. Okay, that's okay. 괜찮아요. All right. And so, 우선 일의 진행 상황을 보고 대처하도록 하죠. So the key focus here is 대처하도록. 이거를 영어로 어떻게 할까요? All right. Let's play it by ear for now. Oh, 정말 새로운 표현이에요. All right. So let's play it by ear. This is the expression that we're going to cover and is really an expression that we use in the office very often. 자, play it by ear for now. Uh, 지금 잠시 일단은 okay for now play it by ear. Uh, 피아노를 생각하세요. Right. 어떤 분들은 그 천재적인 그런 어떤 재능이 있죠. 그래서 뭐 악보를 안 봐도 그냥 이렇게 듣고 they play it by ear. 여기에서 나온 표현인데 이 play it by ear는 지금 결정하지 말고 상황을 보고 결정을 하자. 뭐 대처하도록 하자. 이렇게 그런 뜻입니다. Play it by ear. All right. I'll let you know when we're ready for the meeting. 자, I'll let you know is our pattern for today. 아주 아주 uh, 유일하게 쓸수 있는 I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I will tell you. I will let you know. Okay. Very similar. 자, 회의 준비가 되면 말씀 드릴게요. I'll let you know. So, this is our main dialogue. Let's look at it one more time. We're not prepared for the meeting right now. That's okay. Let's play it by ear for now. I'll let you know when we're ready for the meeting. All right, so let's take a closer look at some of these key phrases and patterns. All right, first one, key phrase, play it by ear. So do you play the piano? 막 악보를 보고 거의 피아노를 치는데 아, 그런 천재들 딱 듣고 no, 이렇게 하는. <laughs> 네, they are playing it literally by ear. In the business world, 이거는 이제 진행 상황을 보고 대처하다 이런 뜻이에요. 그러니까 이렇게 듣고 그냥 아, 이렇게, 대, 이렇게 하고 뭐 이렇게 하고 네. 그런 상황이죠. Let's not decide right now. We'll play it by ear. 자, 지금 당장 결정하지 맙시다. 진행 상황을 보고 대처합시다. 그러니까 상황을 보고 합시다. Okay. Next one. I have no idea what will happen. Uh, we'll play it by ear. 자, 무슨 일이 일어날지 모르겠네요. Uh, 진행 상황을 보고 대처합시다. So, obviously, you play it by ear when you don't know what to do or you cannot make a decision. So, 보통, I don't know, we'll play it by ear. Well, I have no idea, we'll play it by ear. Uh, we haven't made a decision yet, we'll play it by ear. 네, 항상, I don't know why. <laughs> 이런 상황이에요. 그 다음에, we'll play it by ear. 상황을 보고 합시다. So, great expression. Next one, key pattern, I'll let you no, very useful. So, uh, 제가 뭐뭐를 알려드릴게요. So, I'll let you know what time I'll arrive. 자, 제가 몇 시에 도착하는지 알려드릴게요. Okay, next one. I'll let you know how to get there. 그곳에 어떻게 가는지 제가 알려드릴 거, 어, 알려드릴게요. 자, 이거는 친구 사이에서도 말할 수도 있고 in business too. It really doesn't matter. I'll let you know means I will tell you. I will inform you. All right? So, I'll let you know tomorrow. 이렇게 할수 있어요. 내일 알려줄게. Yeah. 
easy. I'll let you know next week. 다음 주에 알려줄게. 그러니까 시간을 딱 정해서 I'll let you know. I'll let you know, uh, you know, like uh, at the end of this week. I'll let you know uh, what time, you know, we will have the meeting. It's a very useful expression. I'll let you know. I will let you know. Of course, we just kind of like shortened it. I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let you know all the great uh, business English that I can think of. Okay. So remember these two or two key phrases and patterns. Play it by ear and also the pattern I'll let you know. Okay, I think we're ready for shadowing.